Hey YouTube, welcome to another Rocket League video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys basic moves for advanced players. Basic Rocket League like techniques, uh, skills for players who have been playing the game for a while um, and maybe not know about some of these like techniques that are really helpful in Rocket League to know um, as an advanced player at least. Um, and if you guys want to see more, make sure to just comment down below if there's anything that I didn't cover that you think is important for people to know. Um, then yeah, just make sure to tell me and hopefully I can make a video on it. Uh, but yeah, let's get right into it. The first advanced technique in Rocket League that I want to talk about for basic players is the backwards flip aerial. I don't really know how to name it, but it looks something like this. You're going to be facing the ball with the back of your car. This is used when you're driving away from the ball, usually on defense. You'll be driving away from the ball like this, and the other team will be carrying the ball. You're going to want to jump, flip over, and boost forward to gain momentum going back at the ball. So just to break it down into three parts, you're going to jump, flip your car, and then boost forward. So it's going to be a jump, flip your car, boost forward. It's a boost and a flip for the third move. So you're going to want to be facing the opposite way the ball's going. You're going to jump going in the direction that the ball's coming at. You're going to flip your car over. And then you're going to flip forwards. It looks a little bit weird when you pull it off. But flipping forwards really doesn't mean anything when you're going upside down or backwards. If I flip forward like this, it's going to make me go forward. Or if I flip forward just facing up, it's going to make me go forward. Either way, I flip forward. My, the momentum of the car is going to go in the same direction. So let's say you're facing the opposite direction the ball's going and it rolls up the wall. We're going to send it up the wall here. You're going to be facing backwards toward. You're going to jump, flip, and dodge forward. And you can clear the ball pretty well. It's a really good way to surprise your opponents when you're hitting the ball. A lot of people, when you're on defense and you're driving backwards, not a lot of people expect you to flip back at the ball, but it's really useful. Um, and it's really hard to predict. When, so when you're going backwards like this, not a lot of people know that you can turn your car like this and flip it back to change your momentum. Um, after you do the dodge, a helpful tip is to just rotate your car so that way you don't land upside down like this. Because if you do it right, you'll land like this. But to make sure you don't end up upside down, you're going to flip, boost forward, and then you're just going to roll your car so that you land on your wheels and you can go pick up the ball again. Here's what it looks like in a game. Okay, my second basic move or tip for advanced players is about wall aerials. A lot of people see a ball rolling up the wall in their zone and will do something like this to try to clear it. When you flip backwards off a wall, it actually keeps you closer to the wall. So if you're trying to get a ball off the wall, you're gonna wanna jump, you're gonna wanna drive up the wall, double jump, and then fly towards the ball. So rather than going for a ball by flipping backwards, you're going to want to take the ball up the wall. Let's say the ball is rolling off the side of your goal and you need to clear it. You're going to want to double jump and then just follow the ball with your car. Don't try to flip backwards because that clear won't work. If you really want to get the ball off the wall without having to use boost, you can roll sideways. So you could go like this and you can roll sideways if you see the ball. If you see the ball going straight up the wall, just to show again, you can take the ball and roll sideways so let's say it's going up the wall sideways will take the ball off the wall better than backflip will all right my third rocket league tip for advanced players is going to be about dribbling i see this happen too often when players will roll a ball up the wall and try to get a dribble going and they'll keep ball cam on never keep ball cam on when you're dribbling it's really hard to keep the ball on top of your car when you have ball cam on you can do it but it, it makes the job of keeping the ball on your car and controlling it much harder than if you just turn ball cam off. If you turn ball cam off, you can see the little portrait of where the ball is going to land much easier than if you had ball cam on. So let's say the ball is rolling here. When I have ball cam off, I can track the ball and keep it on my car in the direction that I want it to go. So if I have ball cam off, I can follow the ball and keep it on my car in the direction I want it to go much easier than if I turned ball cam on. Rocket League dribbling is hard and it comes down to a matter of practice, but one way to 
increase your dribbling skill and effectiveness is to just turn ball cam off. It helps a lot when you dribble and you can see where the ball is going to land. Having ball cam off when you're dribbling in Rocket League also helps see what's in front of you and helps see like how you can juke and how you can play off your opponents. When I have ball cam on, all I can see is what's in front of the ball, whereas if I turn ball cam off, I can look around and I can track where my opponents are much easier than if I had ball cam on. So like if I'm looking downfield with ball cam on, I can only see what's in front of here. But if a teammate's coming from my right or my left, I can turn and look while not having ball cam on. And then that's another really helpful part of not having ball cam on when dribbling. So yeah, that'll basically conclude my three tips for today in Rocket League for advanced players. If you guys would like to see more, make sure to comment down below and also check my channel because I might have talked about it in a previous uh, Rocket League video. I won't ramble on for too long, but thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.